Hello, hello, my friends. I am glad you are back here for a new security video from Root Chalets. Our target from today is a machine from Try Hack Me, where there is a flag we definitely must get. The name of the challenge is Capture, and the techniques we will use today are brute force combined with uh, bypassing capture. Since the machine is turned on, let's get to work. The challenge provided us a zip archive which contains two txt files, um, a list of usernames and a list of passwords. So far, sounds easy, just use these two lists as input parameters for Hydra and the job is done. Well, it's not that easy, because after 10 incorrect logins, the site asks, asks for CAPTCHA, some math operation which makes brute force quite difficult. I will put some random credentials and try to log in until CAPTCHA pops up. So I have here test and test. Okay, so hit once. Okay. And you see here this error message the user test does not exist. This message will help us later. So again, again. Oh, okay, now you see the CAPTCHA popped up and we have a field here to enter the answer. Well, since we have to do some math now, we must also pass, uh, pass this uh, parameter uh, in the, our request and it must, in, it must also be the correct value. And this is not very good for us. But first, well, let's see how we need to, how we can get the list of parameters we have to pass in our request. Well, we know we have here username, password, and capture value, but we must see their exact name. So to do this, we go to developer tools. Here's some tools, develop, web developer tools. And here on the network, okay, we must pass, I will pass some random stuff here. We'll have to check the post request. So we have here this post request and in the request field we see here form data and we have the three parameters username test the password which is also test and captcha so we see that the name is actually the one uh, we supposed to be username password uh, and captcha uh, another way to define the, the names of these parameters is to use burp suit and send the request to this URL and then check the request content and you see there the name of the parameters along with the past values. But this option here I showed, that I showed you is way easier. Now that we know the parameters, we have two steps left. Get the username and after, based on it, get the password. I will use Python along with requests and RE modules. For the moment, ignore this commented statement. I will use it later. So let's import requests and then import also remodule. Now, I will define the URL variable uh, where we will store the link for our portal. So let's call it site URL and Good. Next, I will create the list of usernames based on the file we got from the challenge. So, first of all, let's open it. The file is called usernames. Usernames.txt and we'll use read mode. Next, we will create an empty list where we will store the users. List. And now we will parse the file and append uh, each user in the list. So, for user and user file not clients. User list not append and user user. And I will use strip method just to make sure I avoid any unwanted left characters. Good. Uh, to continue, I will create a random post dataset just to begin with and then send a request to this uh, portal with um, our, um, our dataset. So let's call it post data and I'm gonna uh, yes. 
So we have the first parameter we saw, it's named username, and I'm going to call it an user test, something random. And then we have the password. Okay, we call it pass test, again something random, and in the end we have gotcha. Uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, something that I said uh, also in, uh, in our previous attempt. Good. And now we need to send that request. So I will say request response. It's request. Post. And we will have. variable and our post data. Good. Now we need to parse the user list and see which is a valid one from all that list. So for user in user list now file user list. Now I will use this uh, statement here this pattern. What does this pattern do? Uh, we have the regex, we have this regex filter here and based on this we need to extract that math operation from the content of our response and we'll use the um, eval function uh, to get the result of the operation from the left, from the left side. Um, but uh, I also need to filter for that part after, but you'll see it. So first Let's uncomment this. Okay, and we have the capture filter. We will use red dot search. Okay, and for pattern we will use this pattern. And in the string, we need to convert to string our response from the request we previously um, we previously made. So we have request response dot content. Okay. So I guess we're done here. Now we need to uh, evaluate the result, we, the math operation, and we also need to, to filter uh, the first part. So let's call this gap result. Now we need this previously obtained and I will use group of zero to get the first um, the first pattern uh, actually that math operation uh, for, uh, that matches that matches the, um, the regex and then I will split it from using equal sign to get only the left part actually the the math operation we need to get the result for because on the right side of the equal sign is just a question mark asking actually the result we need to pass for it, for, uh, for it. And we will use this one, the zero uh, position to get the first part. And then we will use again a strip just to make sure we don't have unwanted characters. Good. We, get, we got the capture result. Now we need to send a new post request um, using new data. So if we're parsing the user list, we need to use uh, the current user, the, the user at the current iteration, and the capture value. For password, it will remain uh, the same because we don't actually care about the password at this moment. We just want to find out which users are valid. So I'm going to make new. Okay, and again, username this time it will be user. For password, I'm going to set the same value of text, and for uh, captcha. I'm 
this. Convert this to convert it to string. Uh, capture result. Okay. After we did this, we are going to make a new post request. So again, request response. Post. And for our URL, we have site URL, which we defined in the beginning, and new site URL, new post data. Good. Once this is done, we just have to filter the content and see which request does not contain the string. Does not con does not exist in it. You remember the message we got when the, the, we made the initial attempts, and um, the portal uh, told us the user test does not exist. We here is where we are going to use that. So I'm going to set a new variable. Check user str just to filter uh, by that does not exist. So we do not want to take into consideration the results where this string is contained because for that user we know that it uh, it's not uh, that user we know that it's not a valid one. So let's make an if let's make uh, this uh, final step where we put an if condition. So if check user string not in. content because we do not want to have this string contained we'll just print message saying user okay, and current user and have a correct one good we save this and now let's run the script and wait for the correct um, username so we have here find user Okay, I will pause the video and come back once it's done because it takes a while. I am back and I returned also with a valid username, Natalie. One step done, one to go. To get the password, I will use a different script, almost the same with the previous one. Just changed a couple of things. Uh, we'll copy this and paste it here. Now, we have a different document. Instead of usernames, we'll have passwords. And we are going to put here passwd, just to change. Passwd list, password and password file, user, user. Okay, so for username, we are going to set Natalie, we found previously. Password, some random stuff we don't care. Capture the same. And here we need to parse the password list. Pattern remains the same. Capture filter, capture results remain the same. In the new post data, we are going to put Natalie. And here for the password, the current password at that uh, the iteration we are at, capture remains the same. Here, check user string. I'm going to name it check password string. And we are going to change it because now it doesn't, it, it will not say username test does not exist. We need to filter for invalid password for. Um, to get the message you need to filter for, just to make a manual login attempt with a valid user, in our case, Natalie, and a invalid password, something I don't know, as we have here, there, pass test. And the, uh, the portal will. Um, showed message something like invalid password for user Natalie and then you can get it from there and filter now we are going to change it here too and we're going to say password and here passwd in the end i have to add a break statement because once it finds a valid password i need it to stop you cannot have more than one valid password for a valid um, username now uh, we are going to run the script, and once it's done, uh, I will come back. Good, we also got the password. Now, let's log in with the credentials we have, Natalie and password skateboard. And 
and get the flag. So we are going to copy the password. For username, we're going to put Natalie. And for password, OK, we have this capture here. So let's make separate little net. So it's 543. Four, okay, don't see here. And here we have flag txt. And we got the flag. We did it, guys. We got it. We saw in this video how we can bypass CAPTCHA. Of course, this implementation was quite simple, but at least you understood how this can be done. If you reached so far in the video, I hope you learned something from it and also enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you liked and what you didn't. And if you enjoy my content, please hit the like and subscribe button. In the end, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Honestly, it means a lot for me. See you next time. Bye bye.